lot of secret. Manny, I thought you were being effed by the demon so much. Now you need a little more action, eh? My Halloween demon routine. Or a peeping Tom, a complete creeper. The tweets of Demon Boy. Morally bankrupt. That demon, he's getting bored. And Manny MUA is the only person I've ever known to bore a demon. Or have the demon help you. Manny is the same dick that he's always been. And Manny sucks the success and subscribers and the hope and the dreams out of people and ruins lives just like you've ruined mine. That's just dumb as all hell. Like, you're just an idiot. Manny, you creeper! Some of us can be ourselves and others are possessed by demons. Here's looking at you, Manny. Manny MUA. Just like in yesterday's video, I said that Manny has sadistic tendencies. And so they could suck, 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 and leech, leech, leech. Shout out to you, Manny MUA. And Manny, you, what are you, a peeping Tom, you creeper? Trust me when I tell you, the way that this lipstick goes on is... Oh, it's come. It's like a super duper duper drying lipstick that turns matte, and it like when it goes on at first it's fine, but then as you're like applying it, as I was applying it, it was even difficult to apply. So I would say like the color kind of like dries as you're applying it. It's such a piece of crap. Twenty dollars for this? I think not. Okay, this lipstick is the biggest piece of effing shit that I've ever put on my lips. It's made my lips completely freak out. Uh, my lips were dry and cracked and felt so bad for like a bunch of days afterwards. I this is such shit. God awful finish and it created like a bump on my lip, meaning bad allergic reaction to this crap. This is... A god awful wearing lipstick. Piece of shit lipstick. Effed up my lips so bad, I couldn't, I couldn't even really wear anything on my lips. I had to put Vaseline on my lips for like a bunch of days and I wish I would have taken a picture of this. $40 for complete shit. This is going in the garbage. These are insanely, insanely overpriced. And watching hateful videos of Gerard. <laughs> this chick is really trying us both right now, huh, Jen? <laughs> Hi guys, so today's video is going to be my response to the owner of Gerard Cosmetics calling me ugly. In that video, that was not a hate video and that was certainly not a bullying video. I piece of shit lipstick. This lipstick is the biggest piece of effing shit that I've ever put on my lips. I would never bully anybody because I get bullied on a daily basis on YouTube. Owner of Gerard Cosmetics um, saw the video. It was on somebody's Snapchat and she said that I, her customer, was the ugliest person she'd ever seen, that I was really ugly. speaking about Manny, but I try not to talk about him unless he gets himself involved in a massive scandal. This is not a massive scandal. I do not watch Manny Umiwe's videos. I wouldn't even if you paid me. I don't want to make any videos about Manny, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do it because you just gotta do it. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying.
a girl is really, really, really ugly and he's not sorry that he said it just because she didn't like a lipstick. Like that time when Manny said, oh yeah, I'm sorry that we called you ugly, but you know, I'm not sorry that we called you ugly. I'm not sorry that we said that. And calling vloggers ugly because they didn't like a garbage Gerard cosmetic. Um, you haven't learned anything from calling somebody ugly on Snapchat and saying you're not sorry? You did call a girl ugly with Gerard Cosmetics because she happened not to like a lipstick for a brand that he used to promote for. Calling people ugly, he actually <laughs> tweeted out that he found me so he could laugh at me with all of his friends. because she don't like my lipstick. Karina Kaboom was ugly to Manny. If it was three years ago, he would have trashed the way she looks. He would have done the same thing that he did to me. Manny is sadistic. It's not the first time Manny likes to blast calling people ugly and God knows what on his Instagram, on his Snapchat. He's doing the exact same thing to Jordan that he did to me. Only it's too public now and he has so much attention on him that he can't possibly call her ugly now, can he? about Manny MUA videotaping a couple in a hotel room doing it. Work past 
past the point of not disclosing affiliate links. We're past the point of bullshit sponsorship. We're past all this. Showing people who are innocent, who look up to you guys, that you were lying to them. I'm going to spend the time that I have on this earth showing innocent, non-aware consumers with hard-earned money that they worked incredibly hard for at their jobs. And what do you do? You turn around, you block everybody, you don't even apologize. I don't know, that's shady, that's not nice. consumers as I said so many times on this channel and I don't want you to go to work every day work really hard earn that paycheck and give it to a company or give it on like certain makeup products where you become disappointed I want you to be aware I want you to look at reviews and I want you to know what you are spending your hard-earned money on and if I see shady shit or scams I will tell you about it completely understand that a lot of people come to people's videos, to people's Instagrams and say rude, vicious, bullying things. And unfortunately, if you are a business, you need to know how to respond. Like, I don't understand how there's no media training. I don't understand how there is not a PR team. That's why whoever runs your social media needs to be a professional. I've always said this. I've said this for other brands. The majority of the comments from what I saw were not bullying them. They were just saying, look, this is a little bit too expensive. At the end of the day, when you run a business, you're going to find people that do not like your product and disagree with the cost. You need to be able to treat that professionally. Now, they how in the world are you ever ever attacking your own customers. These are the people that take the money that they get paid at work with and give it to you for your product and you're going to attack them. This is absolutely inappropriate. They went to work at a nine to five and they got that hundred dollars to spend on more Cooking. by the blood, sweat and tears of their hard work. So yeah, I'm gonna spend my free time letting them know which companies are scamming them, which influencers are lying to them. He is basically encouraging you highly, influencing you highly to purchase from Cookian. Here's the thing, when you own a business, it is common sense that you will have people that love your products and then you're gonna have some people that hate your products. That's just the nature of being a business owner. Ever see them go and bully um, their customers on social media. They're a business. Is this the first time in their entire business career that some people have shown them some type of opposition? I doubt it. They are a makeup brand. They are a professional business. This is about how he chose to respond to the drama. Okay? What are they doing 
acting this way. This is completely inappropriate. This is 150% wrong. And this is the point. Would you have any respect for me if I sat on that? If I something should we have kept it quiet